This is the DivX9 ecosystem demo. So it's showing components of the DivX ecosystem, which comprise of content, software, and certified devices. On DivX.com, the bundle that's offered for free for consumers includes the DivX player, as well as the DivX converter. The DivX converter allows you to encode files to one of very many DivX profiles. This particular file is DivX Plus HD encoded, which means that it's H.264 MKV format. So after encoding, you can play back that same file using the DivX9 software player, which you can see here. Or you can also access our DivX2Go side panel, which allows you to stream the file and set up folders to share to any DLNA compatible device in your home network. So what I have here is a DivX certified product from Samsung. It's the Galaxy S3. When a phone is DivX certified, what it means is we test the hardware to make sure that the native player on the device is capable of handling DivX video, subtitles, audio, and our DRM format. So using this phone, you can decide to access DivX content via an AllShare player, um, meaning a DLNA server or client, um, or you can directly go to the phone's gallery player which here will allow me to pull up my movies that I've stored and start playback of any of the titles. And you can see there will be no video stuttering because the phone was certified and guaranteed to support the DivX 720p profile. And this TV here from LG is another DivX certified product. It's DivX Plus HD, so it supports H.264 MKV video up to 20 megabits per second. Now I'm going to access video on this device using the DLNA server functionality that we set up on DivX9 software player a little earlier. So you'll see that once you access the inputs, the DivX media server is displayed as another available input. If you go to your videos and all video, I'll be able to access the same Cintel video that was playing on DivX player a little bit earlier.